Matthew Henry's Commentary on the Whole Bible An Exposition, with Practical Observations, of The First Epistle of St. Paul to the Thessalonians Introduction Thessalonica was formerly the metropolis of Macedonia, it is now called Saloniki, and is the best peopled, and one of the best towns for commerce, in the Levant. The Apostle Paul, being diverted from his design of going into the provinces of Asia, properly so called, and directed after an extraordinary manner to preach the gospel in Macedonia, Acts 16 verses 9 and 10, in obedience to the call of God went from Troas to Samothracia, thence to Nepolis, and thence to Philippi, where he had good success in his ministry, but met with hard usage, being cast into prison with Silas his companion in travel and labor, from which being wonderfully delivered, they comforted the brethren there, and departed. Passing through Amphipolis and Apollonia, they came to Thessalonica, where the apostle planted a church that consisted of some believing Jews and many converted Gentiles, Acts 17 verses 1 to 4. But a tumult being raised in the city by the unbelieving Jews, and the lewd and baser sort of the inhabitants, Paul and Silas, for their safety, were sent away by night unto Berea, and afterwards Paul was conducted to Athens, leaving Silas and Timotheus behind him, but sent directions that they should come to him with all speed. When they came, Timotheus was sent to Thessalonica, to inquire after their welfare and to establish them in the faith, 1 Thessalonians 3 verse 2, and, returning to Paul while he tarried at Athens, was sent again, together with Silas, to visit the churches in Macedonia. So that Paul, being left at Athens alone, 1 Thessalonians 3 verse 1, departed thence to Corinth, where he continued a year and a half, in which time Silas and Timotheus returned to him from Macedonia, Acts 18 verse 5. And then he wrote this epistle to the Church of Christ at Thessalonica, which, though it is placed after the other epistles of this apostle, is supposed to be first in time of all Paul's epistles, and to be written about A.D. 51. The main scope of it is to express the thankfulness of this apostle for the good success his preaching had among them, to establish them in the faith, and persuade them to a holy conversation.